Welcome to the channel guys. Today we're going to look at how to create a Shopify payment gateway. The website is shopify.com. The platform commerce is built on millions of world's most successful brands trust Shopify to sell, ship and process the payments anywhere. It's a simple way to start. It's a simple way to create and I'm going to go in great details today to show you how that's done. It's bringing your business online, creating an e-commerce website backed by powerful tools that help you find customers drive sales and manage your day-to-day -day. and this is one of the biggest platforms right now you can start an online business you can move your business online you can switch to shopify you can hire a shopify expert with you everywhere you're going and one platform with all the e-commerce and point of sale features you need to start run and grow your business you can sell from anywhere you can market your business and you can manage everything empowering independent business owners everywhere millions Millions of businesses in 175 countries around the world have made over 200 billion dollars in sales using Shopify and you can be one of them. In today's video I'm going to show you exactly how it's done and it's very simple, it's very straightforward, you just got to follow everything step by step. So the first thing we need to do to start a free trial is put your email address. I'm going to put my email address and we can start our free trial. Now obviously to start your free trial for 14 days on Shopify you need to put your email address and your password. So let me go ahead and put my password and we can go ahead and create our store so we can go ahead and put our email address and we're gonna hit next and it's gonna ask our first name our last name now that we have put our information in our email address our first name last name and our password we're gonna create a Shopify ID so basically after that you'll put your country your first name your last name your address your city your postal code and your phone number and then you will enter your store now this is our store now on the left hand side you have your home your orders your products your customers analytics marketing discounts and app and obviously your online store as well on the right hand side in the middle you have your customized theme add products add a domain there's different elements that are available and obviously in order to start a store we need to start adding some products so this is a very simple straightforward step-by-step -step methodology that you can follow and use and create a store on Shopify so we're going to go ahead and we're going to add some products now obviously if you already have a product and you have information that you want to put on and you're selling then it's a very simple way to go ahead and doing it but obviously uh, we don't have a product so the other method that you can use is you can get an app and by getting this app you'll be able to get information from AliExpress and there's hundreds and thousands of different products already that are available and you can import that information onto your Shopify account so basically then you will go to the apps and and when you go to app, you will select the Deezer's AliExpress dropshipping. When you click on it, it will take you to the next page where it's going to ask you a couple of information. We're going to say add an app. And when we put add an app, it's going to take a couple of seconds to download and to get you there. Once that is done, it will give you a couple of information for customer information, contact. But we're going to go ahead and install the app. So the next thing after you install the app is that if you already have an account, fair enough, but you can register yourself. By registering yourself, you can put your email address. Now that I've put my email address and password, I'm going to create my account. Now the app has been installed. We're going to go over here. We're going to click on the app. It will take us to the new page where the app is going to open up. And obviously the information over there is going to help us and guide us to select a particular product that we want. Looking at all the different products that are available, we will select a product that we feel has the potential. So for example, this particular product looks very interesting this coffee mug looks very nice we can click on it and it'll take us to the page where we can see the information you can scroll down and see all the information that are available if you like the product and you think this product has potential you can go ahead and add this product how do you do it you go over here where it says add to import list we're going to hit add to import list and then you'll say go to import list to check so basically once you select the product you will say push to shopify when you click on it there's different information that are available it will be the name of your store the pricing rules and obviously if you want to continue even when the stock is sold out but we'll say push to shopify and it will take all the information that we have on aliexpress to our shopify account let's go back to our account and check it out so we're going to go to product and we'll see an update where our new bamboo coffee mug stainless steel coffee traveler beer mug 
with a leak proof cover insulated accompanying reusable cup mugs is available they're 8,949 in stock and every time the stock is updated you'll see the information and different variants that are available as well you can click on this and actually change what variant you want what information you want how you want to edit it everything is available for you and i feel that is the beauty of shopify it gives you the flexibility no other website and tool is able to give you you can add more pictures if you want you can change the colors if you want there's different different variants that are available and the price can be also changed so these are all the elements that are available you can add tags if you want to and you can change the vendor names the product organization and if the product is going to be active or not so all of these are freely available to you on shopify which you can use once all of it's ready the second and most important step is to find out how you can actually integrate the payment, the main reason why this particular website is made. So we're going to go to settings and when we click on settings, you have a lot of different options from the store details, the plans, the billings, the user and permissions, the payments, the checkouts, the shipping deliveries. As I scroll down, there are all these elements that are available. The amount of flexibility and information that you get on Shopify is something that you do not achieve with any tools that are online right now that support and assist to make your business an online venture where you can take it global and that is why shopify is one of the biggest organizations right now that everyone is trying to use and taking their business online and going to plan or billing and user's permission it gives you all the different elements that are available for example in plan you have your trial and the next billing and payment methodology when you go to billing you have your default payments and your billing currencies but we're going to go to payments and we're going to check out how to create and integrate different payment methods now you have your payment providers you have your support payment methodologies that are available and you can add different methodologies that are there so you can choose a provider or do it manually as well so let's go and choose a provider so once you go to choose a provider there are a lot of providers providers that are available from to check out faster pay and a ton of other ones that are available like epay icount and kn pay pay safe pay you money and pin payments so obviously you want to check out which is available in your country and which works best for you so looking at the fact that we right now the only ones that are available for me are three and two checkout is the one that gives us the most flexibility from visa mastercard amex discover and jcb with diners club as well so we're going to go to two checkout and we're going to click on it now when we click on two checkout it gives you a breakdown of what you need to do in order to get it integrated with your website two checkout enables you to accept mobile and online payments from buyers worldwide no matter if you sell physical or digital goods and services one time or on a recurring basis their payment process is absolutely seamless safe and reliable no matter where you are on the map and you can start selling in minutes in 200 plus countries and territories with over 100 supported currencies 29 languages and nine payment methods so what is the setup instructions is it is very simple it is very straightforward what you need to do and they tell you exactly how to do it as well the first thing is to create a two checkout account and then you can log in and activate your two checkout account with access integration with web books and api section in your cpanel under the api section which i'm going to show you in a second you can copy the merchant code and paste in the merchant code right here and you can add your secret word in the section over here you can click on save setting and in redirect url check the enable return from sales so all of these methods are simple and straightforward let me show you how it's done so we're going to go and create a two checkout account once we click on create two checkout account it'll take us to their website to checkout.com now this is one of the biggest websites that are available and obviously the flexibility that you receive with integrating to checkout is massive so we're going to sign up for free right now now when we sign up for free it's going to ask us our first name our last name our business email our password our website and obviously your country so let us start with that once we add all that information we're going to go ahead and get started so now that we reached our dashboard we could go to integration once we go to integration this is where all the information is going to be available that we would need to actually integrate our payment method with our website with our apa merchant code and with our secret key as well so i'm gonna click this and copy this i'm gonna go back to the shopify dashboard so i'm gonna put the merchant code over here i'm gonna copy and paste it then i'm gonna go back to our website and it will have our secret key and i'll copy our secret key then i'll go back to our uh, shopify account i'm gonna put the secret key over here and that is it guys it is as simple as that then we'll activate our to checkout account 
now now our account is activated so when we go to our payments we will see there are two checking account is enabled and obviously the credit card rate is available and the transaction fee is available guys it is a simple method step by step that i've shown you if you have any questions whatsoever you can always comment in the comment section below and i'll try to guide you as best as i can if you have not subscribed to the channel do subscribe to the channel and share this video with your friends and family so more people can find out how easily you can make an account on shopify then integrate the payment system that you need to make your business go online it is an easy step-by-step -step methodology so until our next video take care